Hey Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing just a quick reading just to see what, you know, what the universe wants us to know. Pull some cards out, see what we get. I'm going to pull from a couple different decks. Alright, <clears throat> so you have a fork in the road, chaos and conflict, deep knowing. Alright, so I feel like, you know, some things are not happening to, or, or not being so easy for you at the moment. Things are like, you know, not working out, could be a lot of um, struggles going on, uh, fork in the road. Something is in the way of where you want to get, or maybe you might be confused as to what you want to do now, okay? Um, deep knowing tells me that maybe you kind of knew about... Something or someone. Deep knowing. Very intuitive. Listening to your intuition. So this might be saying that maybe you know which way to go, but you're not going that way. Alright? Or maybe you're just halting yourself. Show the world the real you. Okay? So this is like, you know, maybe this is your time to shine. Okay? Maybe you might have held back for a while because of whatever circumstances you were going through. A new romantic cycle begins, all right? So somebody new is coming in for you, a new love. Ooh la la, okay? And then we have emotions are running high. I feel like you're gonna be very excited about this um, person, situation, or whatever this is that's coming in. Um, bring love into the situation, okay? So this is somebody that, you know, don't have your walls too high up with this person, okay? Show love. Um, don't be so kind of like, you know, like trying to push them out your life, okay? I feel like you need to show some love in this situation because this person might be actually a good person that's coming in for you, okay? And you just don't want to push them away. What else is coming? Okay. Seven of Cups, you might have more than one option. That might be the fork in the road for you. I feel like you have more than one option, so you're confused right now as to which one to take. The Eight of Swords... Um, in reverse, this can mean that you're trapped, but this can also mean that you're finally getting yourself out of this trappedness, out of this mental, um, you know, blockages and all the stuff that was going on for you. Um, this can also say in order to be able to choose a um, clear path, you might have to sit down and really try to meditate, get your thoughts together and, and figure out what you want to do. The three of swords in reverse. This is telling me there's no more heartbreaks, there's no more trapped. Um, now you have multiple options in whatever situation that you're going through because now you're free, okay? You're free of heartaches, free of disappointment, free of things not working out for you. Ten of Pentacles, an ending of something that was um, long term, okay? Something you don't see, the King of Pentacles. This is like lots of abundance coming in for you, lots of growth. Um, mentally, physically, financially, whatever type of stuff that you were working on, it's like, it's, you know, it's working, it's coming to fruition. The Ten of Pentacles, um, this is saying there is an ending. And the Ace of Swords, you're finally starting to notice what you really want, standing in your own truth, you know? You're standing in your own power. You're realizing what you want. You're going for that. You're not allowing other people in other situations to keep you stuck anymore. You're ready to go and leave this behind with the Ten um, being an ending and a new beginning. Something brand new is starting. So you got an ending and a new beginning with the Ace of Swords. This is also talking about a promotion coming up for you within a job. Okay, so if you're working or whatever, you apply for a higher position or apply for a better job. It's like, okay, this is about to be happening for you. So, you know, don't allow this stress to hold you back because I feel like you're going to have multiple options now because now you're going to be free. Now you're going to be able to do whatever you want, right? Let's see within um, love what we get. Two, three. Heartbroken. Mm, three swords. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. All right, so you may be upset over this person or over this situation in love. Um, they may have broken your heart. They may have cheated. Maybe they didn't treat you right. Maybe they just didn't appreciate you. You know, maybe you put in all the work. And I feel like finally you came to the realization that, you know, this wasn't meant for you. It must have been hard, but I feel like you still had to walk away from this. Um, you have abundance and paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Okay, so this could be somebody else. Okay, I don't feel like it's with this person that broke your heart because you just walked away from them. Why would you want to take them back after they kept you feeling stuck and trapped in whatever situation? Anyway, abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. So it's like, like I told you, you know what I mean? Tell the universe exactly what you want so that way they can bring it to you. Because if you don't know what you want, then they're not going to know what to bring you, right? So then you're not going to really get anything. You're never going to be satisfied. So it's like, tell the universe what you want. 
think about it long and clear first, you know, before you go ahead and do that. But then, um, you, you tell them what you want and then you leave it to them and then wait. There is abundance coming in for you. It's going to bring lots of happiness, okay? The Ten of Pentacles is also like long-term stability, okay? So whatever you're working on, could be a new job or whatever, it's going to bring some, some type of long-term stability within this new um, work that you're doing. You have hidden enemy. Someone is trying to sabotage you. This person wants you to fail and will celebrate your losses. Be discerning. Do not volunteer information you want kept secret. There is someone who wants to have all... There is someone who wants what you have and will try to take credit for your work as their own. Envy, insecurity, and gossip are present. Protect yourself, especially from this three of swords situation. This person that you were dealing with that kept on making you feel like you were trapped. They didn't want you to do anything. They didn't want you to go anywhere with your life. Don't tell them what you're doing. Keep it a secret because if you tell them what you're doing, they're going to try to mess it up for you and you don't want that. Just keep your stuff to yourself. You have living space. This time has come to make changes to your living space. This may be an omen to move locations, clean up clutter. So you might be moving, moving jobs, moving houses, moving housemates, or set new ground rules for equal effort towards tests and chores. Revisit ways to improve in lighting and a sense of sanctuary. Cleanse stagnant energies. Okay, so maybe try to like sage or cleanse your house or do whatever you got to do in order to get the negative energies out. And also do that for yourself because you don't want to carry on anybody else's stuff, especially when you're finally leaving them. You don't want that to stick to you. You have clarity. Like I said, more information is needed. Ask questions, especially in new situations. Don't make assumptions. Be patient. Someone may be trying to hide the truth from you. Communicate. Explain situations fully. Openness eliminates guessing. Don't gossip. Don't let others gossip about, gossip about you. You don't have all the facts. Someone needs clarity. I feel like you need clarity, not so much, I don't feel like, you know, I feel like you need clarity because whatever this situation was, like, why did they do that? But you don't need to always know, just move on and do what you gotta do. <clears throat> Graduation, congratulations, you have graduated from a really difficult life set less than you can breathe a sigh of relief for overcoming your situation. This can also be an omen to confirm certification for completing a program, educational course, or personal goal. This marks the end of a cycle you have made it to completion. All right, and that's the last card that I was pulling for you guys. So if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Congratulations. Whatever you guys are going through is a big old ending and a brand new beginning. One that's going to be better for you and one that you, you know that you want to be on. Okay, you're going to go for it. You deep knowing too. It's like you knew this had to happen in order to get you to where you need to be, right? So I feel like with this new romantic cycle that's popping up for you guys too, make sure you ask lots of questions before you go and dive deep into the situation as well, okay? So that's what I got for you guys, and please um, thank you for, my, for watching. I can't think, and have a good day. See ya.